Hello and welcome again. If you're new to my channel, my name is Sapphire and I'm here reaching out, geek out with anyone and everyone who just needs a little more Harry Potter in their lives. Today I have finally gotten my Curation of Magical Curiosities Christmas Edition box designed by Terry Wallace. Here it is. I, I have been very patient and no more. Here I go. There is a quick sneak peek. Mm, looks good already. Happy Christmas, Neville. Happy Christmas. Um, dear friend, I couldn't risk sending Hedwig ever since the World Cup. The Ministry has been intercepting more and more owls, and he's too easily recognized. Of course, that's a quote by Sirius Black. This year has been filled with such magic, and our community is thriving. Our wizarding world has some of the most incredible, passionate, and kind-hearted wizards and witches within it. And I'd like to say a huge thank you for all of your support with the Cauldron... And I'd like to say a huge thank you for all of your support with the Curation of Magical Curiosities this year. I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a very magical new year. Always cheery. That's a sweet little Christmas card. Ooh, ooh. Aha! I just... Okay. One more. Now that you can kind of see. Here is a cute little box, of course designed to look like a present. I have a feeling they all might be. <laughs> yes. I just want to rip into it. I feel like it really is Christmas. Oh, this really is very sweet. It is a winged key Christmas ornament, I'm guessing. Though, tell you the truth, that is a very long ribbon. I really like how the winged key has two sets of wings. They're really delicate and have kind of an elegant feel to it. I've seen some done online that look kind of tacky, but this one is really cute. It's a nice little start to the box. Box number two. Very Christmassy. Brown paper packages tied up with strings. These are a few of my favorite things. <gasps> it's a remember all. I, I've got to fill this with something. Something red that appears like smoke, but only sometimes when I've forgotten something. I have no idea what that did. That's not a thing, but I sure do wish it was because I would totally do that. The Remember All is a slightly opaque plastic, not 100% clear. It is about the size of the one in the movie. That's really cute. I like it. Box number three. It has a little crown on it. Maybe it's a chess piece. I am a good guesser. This is great. Look at the detail on that. This chess piece has some really interesting details on it. Even down to the chair. It looks like a really elaborate wooden chair. There's beading on the headdress. And the crown has some really simple yet lovely indentations just for a little dash of extra detail. Now I feel like I ought to have a whole other set of all the other pieces. It's really cute. This is so cute. I think I think I want to wait to open it. No, I'm not going to do that. These are like all of my favorite colors. Like fall. <gasps> it's pretty soft. I mean, for a knitted scarf, it, it feels really soft. You know, not like baby soft or anything, but nice enough to actually wear. That's very cute. 
Ooh, there's something in bubble wrap. I'm so curious what this could be. It has a little design of what looks like people maybe meeting or dancing or something. I'm both very excited and a little bit brokenhearted because I think this is maybe broken. Aww. I really love this idea and I wonder if I could have it replaced, but there is a crack right there. Also, the pumpkin is really... I don't know if you can see that, but it looks almost dirty, like sticky, like maybe someone was working with glue and then they put their fingers all over it. And now it's got little glue smudges. The pumpkin juice bottle is super cute. I love the iridescent silver snowflake sparkle. Uh, the crack is a little more easily visible from this angle. Here you can see the smudgy texture I was telling you about. It could just be that they're trying to make it look textured like a pumpkin, which is a nice idea. It's just there are better ways of going about it than putting sticky fingerprints all over it. But the idea itself, beautiful. Next is this lovely package. It says, Happy Christmas, Harry. Happy Christmas, Ron. This is a double gift. In a sense, yes, this is a really cute take on the Harry and Ron Weasley sweaters. It's a matching set, but not matching. These letters are embroidered into the mittens. They're not like a an iron-on patch or something. They're really nice. Golden, shimmery. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, look at that. All the way through. I like the textured yarn that was used to make it. it makes it feel kind of wintry. Oh, you're so pretty. <gasps> oh, there's a pin. This pin is really cute. It's a Christmas wreath and it has all your favorite things on it. It has a lightning bolt and it has a little snitch on it because I guess there's no Christmas without snitches. If you look closely, some of the colored decorations are little jewels that twinkle just a little bit all the way around in different colors. A little Hogwarts miniature crest on the top. When you take a closer look at the wreath pin, you can see cute little details and textures that make it look like it's actually a plant, like pine needles and other plant leaves. There's even a little Deathly hallow symbol at the bottom. Chudley Cannons! Yes, now I can support Ron's favorite team, right? That's Ron's favorite team, right? I think so. So this is a foam, foam fabric, felt, it's kind of like felt, a felt flag, and the side is also felt. Really nice stitching. Something that a witcher wizard would actually have. I really like replicas that don't break the illusion of reality. Um, I like things that you really could have gotten. I do have a few exceptions, like if the wizarding world were real, I would have never been able to come across the last will and testament of Dumbledore, but I have one. But usually I like things that you could actually get, things that a witcher wizard would commonly buy, and this is for sure one of those things, so I will be hanging this up. Ooh, this is cute. 
This is a howler print, a print of a howler. The, the writing in the background is pretty faint. Um, it's kind of like a really pale beige, really pale brown in some areas. It's, it's just about as light as it's looking in this video. This is, of course, Ron Weasley's Howler from the second book. The words in the background are an excerpt from Molly Weasley's quote, Ronald Weasley, how dare you steal that car? And then there's a little bit at the bottom about them being absolutely disgusted. It's really gorgeous. I wonder if Cherry made this one too, just like she made the mandrake. I'm betting we will find out. Or probably the rest of the world already knows because I'm... Um, Last to get my box again. <laughs> this is the last item before the spoiler. Easy open flap. Can't fool me. 3,000 times, but usually I do it wrong. This envelope, there's nothing written on it, but it's really long and it's shimmery. I do love me some shimmery stuff. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, this is very nice. Okay. Okay, so here's the back. It says, The Yule, the Yule Ba, eh, Yule Ba. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It says the Yule Ball in every line, but certain beginning and endings of it have been cut off, so you can't really read the whole thing, but it's just the same on every line, in theory. And on the front, it says, Yule ball and there's the little people dancing again so yes it must have been a dance because the yule ball is a dance open it up hogwarts school of witchcraft and wizardry together with the ministry of magic request the pleasure of your company at the yule ball to celebrate christmas and the triwizard tournament would to be held at 1900 hours Seven o'clock, Christmas Day at the Great Hall, Hogwarts School. At twenty-one thirty hours, nine thirty, the traditional champions waltz, strictly dressed to impress. We're gonna wait two and a half hours before the the before the champions waltz. I mean, I'd go to bed before then. <laughs> then I wouldn't have to dance in front of everybody. <laughs> That'd be cool. So this is really beautiful. The color of the background paper makes it kind of feel like it's midnighty, almost kind of like the night bus, but a more elegant, mystical sort of feel, I guess. And it's gold foil, silver foil. Front gold, the inside silver. This is the the back is most certainly gold. The front, the very front is gold. The insides, you know, I think it switches to silver. I mean. It's beautiful. It's just, you don't really think of people switching colored foils. But whatever, it's cute. I like it. I'm totally keeping this. That was 94. In 1994, well, I was not old enough to have been invited as I was only six. But, Maybe I could have had an older brother. Four more years, six, ten. Still not old enough. Dang it. So there's no way I would have actually been able to have obtained this, but it's nearly a realistic replica. It's realistic for many people. Just not me. Because I'm not old enough. And here is the actual last item. It seems like it's probably a print. 
Okay. <clears throat> is a Yule Ball poster, kind of like an advertising flyer poster. Um, and some people really do collect these kinds of things. So this could have been something that I obtained at a later date. And it is still a realistic replica that I could have gotten. Um, let's see. Yule Ball. At the first wand stroke, lead your partner to the dance floor. At the second wand stroke, your beverage will be served. At the third wand stroke, your feast will be served. At the fourth wand stroke, witch and wizard of the ball will be announced. At the fifth wand stroke, your parade of wand skills. At the sixth wand stroke, Final Yule dance, then good night to all our very special guests. I have no idea what a wand stroke is. So that really doesn't mean a thing to me. Is that a half hour? Is that only an hour? Is this thing six hours long? Is it every 15 minutes? Is it just every time someone goes up and says, Tap, tap, tap on the mic. Excuse me, it's time for the fifth wand stroke. It means something to someone. <clears throat> on the very bottom, strictly dress to impress. See Professor McGonagall for details. All together, I think that was a really good box of goodies. Um, <clears throat> my heart didn't stop and pitter-patter for any of the items like last time, but all of them were pretty nice things. If you like this video, go ahead and like it, subscribe, leave a comment, and let me know what was your favorite thing from the box. Now it's time for the cheat sheet. I did, of course, get the Maxima box. The first was Molly Weasley's knitted scarf. The scarf is designed to look like Fred and George's at during the Christmas dinner at number 12 Grimald Place. The flying key ornament did I spot the Deathly Hallow symbol? No. Wow. Talk about a customized item. They didn't just get any old key. They got one that they designed to have a Deathly Hallows mark. Wizard's chess piece. This is a replica from the Queen piece that you see Harry and Ron playing with in Christmas of 1991. Howler artwork. It says she liked painting the mandrake art so much that she did another one. I was right, it is a Cherry Wallace original. The Remember All. <laughs> it says don't worry if it doesn't turn red. It just means you haven't forgotten anything. It's not that it's not real. I just never forget anything. Chudley Cannon's Quidditch Team Flag. This flag was designed to look like the one proudly displayed in the Gryffindor Boys dormitory next to Ron's bed. Yule Ball Invitation, designed by Danny from Muggle Magic DIY, of course. This invitation is a paper replica. Not only is there gold foiling, ha, there's silver too. I was right. Nifflers are definitely going to want to steal this, so keep it safe. Hogwarts wreath enamel pin, the Yule Ball bottle, which is designed to be luxurious because apparently the Yule Ball was very luxurious, and I'm sure if we look back closely at the movie, we'll see that. Around the towering ice sculpture in the movie, there was, there were glass pumpkin juice bottles. Ooh. I suppose that's why the last box had the pumpkin juice pin badge because I guess the girl cannot get her mind off of those fancy pumpkin juice bottles. I never even noticed them and she's made two products to, to look like them. I'm gonna have to go back and look more carefully this time. Harry and Ron Christmas gloves. They're designed to look like Molly Weasley's jumpers. Sweaters. Yule Ball poster. Another Danny from Muggle Magic DIY product. Very nice. So there you have it. That is all there is. And 
I looked and I did not see that there was another box ready for purchase, so I'm wondering what to do now. And you know what? I'm sorry I'm the last person to do this. I just live so far away from where they're coming from. If Cherry Wallace comes out with another curation box, would you get it? Let me know. And until next time, keep geeking out. Bye.